what up y'all so today we're gonna be hooking up a gas line and showing y'all how to hook up a gas line on the stove yeah so every time you move in a new house you ain't gotta call the person you know that know how to do it and say oh you come hook my stove nine times out of ten they gonna be busy for real it's simple or they gonna be charged yeah they gonna charge so a couple tools you might need is two pipe wrenches or a pipe wrench and some pliers at least have them over these that'll be good you go to this from amazon and pretty much give you all the connectors that you might need. You don't need your gas connector. And it comes with different connectors depending on what type of stove you got. Definitely got to make sure you have some tape because this is what's going to prevent the gas from leaking out. So back here, usually when you're moving in somewhere, the gas line will have a little cap on there for a plug. So you want to make sure that the gas is turned off. Usually if it's going across like this, that means it's off. If it's going straight ahead, that means the gas is on. Make sure the gas is off. I'm gonna get this cap off. Some little pliers would have came in handy. So the reason for the two pliers, so one on here, so this won't move while we unplugging this here. Because if you unscrew this, then you're gonna have to take that back off, put some tape around it, and screw this whole valve back on, which is still ain't no big issue. Put that back in here. All right, so then I'm gonna take this one, make sure it's the right size, just All right, so then twist down. Righty, totty, lefty, loosey. So I'm see I'm pulling this down to the left. Take this plug out. And I'm not moving this one at all. I'm just keeping this one here so none of this will move. So this can stay still. If I try to twist this one out, sometimes if it's so tight, it, it'll twist the whole valve off. And we ain't trying to do that. All right. Bam. Tape. Connector, let's see, we're gonna roll with oh, the battery. Damn, that worked right there. See that? That's gonna twist in like that, and then your gas line gonna connect to here. But before we do that, we're gonna grab our tape, take that, and wrap this clockwise. We're gonna wrap that boy at least, at least three times, but since this little, you know what I'm saying, thin standard, we're gonna do like four that in there. We just gonna screw this inside here. All right, boom. So y'all see what just happened? That's pretty much what happened. All right, the tape around there, you know, I went to go screw it on, it pretty much did this and start unraveling the tape. That's why you gotta make sure you put the tape on the right way. Where is my going right now? So if you're looking at it, make sure it's going to the right. If you're looking at the back of it, make sure it's going to the left. And when you twist it on, guess what it's gonna do? It's gonna lay that flap down. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, that always like you confuse me. Like, damn, which way am I put it on? Because you'll mess around, put it on this way, and it's backwards. But if you do it from this way, yeah. And then this is your two pliers to come in again because you don't want that to move. Yeah. Hold that there. So some people like to call these wrenches monkey wrenches, but. The only reason why they gave him the nickname Monkey Wrench is because a black man made this and the rest of the people decided to call it the Monkey Wrench. Lord Jesus. So it's really called a pipe wrench. But I always, even when I was younger, I thought it was called a Monkey Wrench until I learned where the damn nickname came from. A lot of people don't even know that. It remind me of like the stuff with Cowboys. So we got that piece on there. Now we got to put on another little adapter on the stove itself. So we'll grab another adapter. I believe this is three quarters or a half inch. This came from Amazon, so we're gonna say it was the actual size. But this end here, you see it's kind of curved. So this end always go on the actual gas line itself. You gotta kind of hold it in your hand, push this nut up and have it straight as you're twisting it. So like that, and boom. And you don't want to tighten this too tight. You can make sure it's tight, but don't over tighten. And the same thing, we're gonna put our tape on here. And you don't have to put tape on here either because it's pretty much self-sealing because they got a little ring inside of there. So we're gonna test that again. Picture your hand as a sole and you turn it. If it starts pulling that paper off, then you know you gotta flip the paper around, and tighten it the other way. Now we're gonna install this. And that's the typical place it is. Yep. Sometimes if you get a used stove, um, it might have this adapter on there already and you just need um, this line right here. This one, you're gonna need one pair of pliers. You don't wanna over tighten this too tight either because it got a gas line hooked up to it. 
and make sure your pliers is on the actual nut. Don't be putting your pliers on here and mess up these threads. Hey, Jay, let's make us some soapy water. Tell y'all what we gonna do with the soapy water when I'm done. So that's on there nice and tight. And then we're gonna take our gas line. And remember, I'm gonna make sure that this line stays straight. This nut is straight on here. So you push it on there like that and then you just get to twisting it. See how that's crooked right there? And you think that's tight, it's gonna leak out of there. So you gotta make sure your gas line, you can even pull it back as you twisting this on here. Make sure that boy is tight. It ain't gotta be super, super tight, but it gotta be tight. Man, that's nice and tight. I'm gonna do this other end. Now remember, you don't need tape on it. You can put tape on there just for, you know what I'm saying, just to, for extra safety, security. I know some people get scared when they think about gas lines and stuff. Sometimes if your gas not on, the gas company will actually hook it up for you if you got everything. Yeah, make sure your line not gonna be kinked. So, same way I do that, I'm gonna twist it on here. So you just twist it on there a couple threads, pull your gas line back, make sure that boy is straight as you tighten it. Take your wrench, tighten the boy down. All right, everything nice and tight. Now you can turn your gas on. Get some soap and some water. So that's how we're gonna actually check to see if the gas is leaking. So we're gonna go ahead, turn on our gas valve here. Another way to check to see if it's leaking too is if you smell gas. You might smell a little gas when you first turn it on, but it's the gas that's coming from the actual stove itself. So we're gonna make sure we put the eyes on and stuff like that before you check it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> so, got a dish right here, some soap and water. And he's just making do with what he got. Because yeah. we actually at family house. We're helping this family out. So, she just rag nice and soapy. It's going to be a little wet, but who cares? But you're going to grab that and wring it out around your connections. And if it starts blowing bubbles like you're chewing gum, it's a leak. So, let's check this one over here. That one looks good. the whole line. Looking good, I don't see nothing bowling. Mm -hmm. If you want to, just for extra measure. Take your rag and go around this gas line. This boy came from Amazon, so you don't tell him who sold. Safety scissors. Let's put a little extra. I don't see no bubbles. Let me know if y'all see one. By the time you see one, the house would have been blew up because you know tell how long y'all gonna see this video. Now you want to do something. Now we just gonna throw these on top. Make sure you put these on right. This little slot right here. If you got an older style like this, just a tick, tick, tick. Not older style, but if you got a style with these right here, little tick igniters, make sure it go in that slot right there. So they're pretty much sparking here, and it's gonna be a little piece of gas to come out of here. Yeah, it's gonna seep out of there, it's gonna spark, bam, and it's gonna light. Up. And before you do that, you gotta have the caps on top of it too. Because if not, then the gas is just gonna shoot up and go through the sky. With these plates right here, the gas shoot up, hit this, and then it spread out. And then that tick light it, and then that's when all the eyes be lit around here. You would have Al Jow. Now we're gonna put it on the light. It's probably gonna take a minute though, because the gas gotta come through the line, the air gotta get out. Bam, there we go. Can I do it? Bam. I wanna do this one. Push. Push. Twist. Oh, dang, see that? He, he I don't know how to make grilled cheese. How to make grilled cheese? 
Nah, you ain't gotta make noodles in the microwave and get the radiation. All right, we're gonna make sure the oven work too, but. Throw these on. Now we're gonna turn on the oven, put that boy on bake. Take this off. Oh, look, push start. We're gonna see if we get the glowing underneath here. It's glowing, so it glow like that, and then the gas come through. Let's see if we can hear it. Gotta let out that air. It's probably like, um, close the door. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so y'all see right there, that's the igniter. It's a glow, glow plug. So it glow up like that, and then the gas is supposed to come out, and then it'll light the gas. And then spread it that way. I wonder if it's me missing a shield. Oh no, I a shield here. I'm gonna put this back on there. It might be an air still in the line. But this shield right here, it do the same thing as these caps. So the gas do the same thing. With this shield, the gas come out, hit the shield, and the little glow rod, and it light it. And then that's pretty much how your oven heat up. The fire will be sitting right here. And then the heat just go through here. Whoop, whoop. Heat up the whole oven. Do we feel hot at all? Yeah, it's like, no, if there's any heat in there, it's just coming from that glow plug. Mm. But it is air in the line, so. Mm. But God damn, mm, that's what they came up. And it would suck mm -hmm. if it was something wrong with this stove because he bought it in March. And they don't tell him how long that warranty is. But hey, we got video to show that first time he's getting hooked up. I'm gonna put them on front real quick, y'all. See this? 321. <clears throat> 321. He had this joint since March. He's been waiting on me this whole time. So this is why we make videos like this. And we can't get there right away. We can just send him the video. Bam. Look at the video. You can do it yourself. And just let me know if we get the bubbling. Yeah. Then you're gonna have to call 911. Yeah. This is what happened when you at your cousin's house. Alright, you get the right <laughs> Everybody in the refrigerator. They is disgusting. Look. What is that? Boiled peanuts. Boiled peanuts. They, they from down Georgia. And they eat this. Even when they were younger, they were like, oh, these good. I tried these joints. Disgusting. Oh, they got some. Oh, shit. I'm about to make it so cool. I ain't got one of these. What happens when you don't get paid for your service? And I'm about to take this to another bird's food. Oh, I guess he was while taking we, a lunch break. Like my one dude be saying, dude, while we wait, we hydrate. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it, dude. So, as we see, is at 147 now. 147 degrees. It's getting hot and hurting. We got this boy for 300. I think he actually bought a set. So he bought this in the refrigerator and we struggled like crazy bringing this joint up. Because he ain't got the youngest back. I ain't got the youngest back. And the way them stairs was and how heavy this was, it wasn't no joke. But if y'all found this video helpful, make sure y'all give it a thumbs up. Everything that we use in here is going to be in the description below from the pipe wrenches to the gas line, to maybe even the stove. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Signing off. Brands hot. Artlife.com. And don't forget, I ain't even got no shirt on. But if you wanna, if you about your family and business, don't forget to hit up artlife.com, A-R-T-T-Life.com. Probably some shirts, probably some merch. Alright, let's slide.